I think the college in those early days particularly astonished me because it was so supportive. If a person had an idea and could really uh, had the means to make that idea happen, had covered the bases and was prepared, the college would help you do it. It's not like coming into a, a, a 200 year old institution. You're coming into an institution that's in an infancy where everybody is open to ideas, everybody wants your contribution, everybody uh, is willing to listen and try things. There was this great sense of innovation and experimentation. You could try anything, okay, as long as it wasn't illegal, all right? You could do anything. You come up with the craziest idea in the world and somebody say, go with it. Give that a try. If it didn't work, well, that didn't, that didn't work. And that was always, that was always the, the modus operandi of, of what went on in the classroom, and, and it was exciting. They are so receptive to creativity. When I went in there and said I want to take a group of people to New York to see Broadway shows, I thought I would have to fight for it. The first thing they said was, great, how do we do this? When we started storm chasing, there wasn't anybody out storm chasing uh, in any sort of an institutional format. So we really had no idea what was going on, but we started out by camping. We would take our storm chase vans and have a trailer hitch, and we would set up tents. And at some point we go, that's not a good way to do storm chasing. So we ended up staying in hotels, and we built the program, and we had longer trips. We were doing weekends, then we did five-day trips, then we're doing 10-day trips. And on every step of the way, in order to make it better, uh, the college was really supportive of it, despite what we did to some of their vehicles, getting hit by lightning and blowing out our tires or coming home with smashed windshields. We were encouraged to experiment and not worry if we failed or something didn't work quite the way we wanted to or didn't work at all, learn from it and do some more, try some more new things. We were encouraged to go to professional meetings, be active in professional societies, take courses, uh, publish articles, books, that sort of thing. I think the College of DuPage uh, worked from the top down and the ground up, which I don't think was true in many uh, universities at that time or colleges or anything. And I think that th this was born, this kind of creative idea was born here because of that kind of thing. I think one of the reasons it's flourished is because of that attitude, its willingness to try new things, its willingness to bring in new ideas and fresh ideas. The College of DuPage will always be its best when the leaders and the administration and the board support the people who are doing great things. The college was willing to support innovation financially, emotionally, administratively, and we had the student base to make it work. I think the philosophy of the school is, is to focus on excellence or strive for excellence. And that means taking risks, that means pushing people uh, out of their, their comfort zones, it means being innovative and there's times when you try something and it blows up in your face, but I, I don't see a lot of pushback from that. It's like, this, you have to do that if you're going to be one of the leaders.